Good morning. I'm Christine. This is Whiskers and this is Greeny. The last time that Whiskers and Greeny visited us, they helped us to learn what it means to be united, which is one of the things that Paul was calling the Philippians to do and calling us to do too. Do you guys remember that? They were fighting about which snack they were going to eat and they were not happy with each other. But then they decided to listen to each other, to think about what the other one wanted. And they became united. They became a team. And then they took turns picking snack. Well, today, Whiskers and Greeny are going to help us think about what it means to imitate Jesus, which basically means being like Jesus. Our passage is Philippians 2, verses 19 through 30. Hey, Greeny, I was reading my Bible today, and I read about these two really cool friends of Paul's in the letter to the Philippians. Their names were Timothy and a p- a p- a p- Ugh, I don't know how to say the other guy's name. Was it Epaphroditus? Yeah, him. What made them so cool? Well, it turns out Timothy was always thinking about other people. He didn't just think about himself. And Epaphroditus was super duper kind. And he was focused on working together with Paul so that more and more and more and more people would follow Jesus. They were imitating Jesus. What does imitate mean? It means to do the same thing, sort of like copying. Like being a copycat? Sort of. Not an annoying or mean copycat, but copying how Jesus was kind and truthful and loving and all the good things you can think of. Whoa, Timothy and Epaphroditus do seem really cool. I want to be like them. Actually, I want to be like Jesus, just like they were being like Jesus. Now, what do you think Whiskers and Greeny will do differently now that they've seen how Paul's friends were imitating Jesus? Ice cream, ice cream, we all scream for ice cream. I can't wait for my double chocolate ice cream with mosquitoes and flies on top. Yummy! Wait, Greeny, I think I see our friend Dino over there. Oh no, he fell down. Let's think about what Jesus would do if he saw this. Would he keep walking toward the ice cream shop or would he stop to help his friend? I think we both know Jesus would go help his friend. Come on, let's help Dino. Thank you, mate. Well, that was a really great example of what imitating Jesus looks like. Thank you, Whiskers and Greeny. Is there anything else that you wanted to say to the kids today? Kids, your job today is to talk to your parents about what it means to imitate Jesus, to copy Jesus, to be like him. Everybody in the family can say one way, they think they can become more like Jesus. Oh, and don't forget to sign up for Summer Sunday School and Thrillin' Thursdays. Thrillin' Thursdays is a new thing. Lots of fun and games for six weeks over the summer. You can talk to Lisa or Christine for more information or to sign up. That's enough talking. Let's sing together. <laughs> <laughs>